Hello and welcome to another Atlasing tutorial. In my previous video I covered how to uh, create multiple materials on one model. However, this tutorial is going to be a lot simpler on that subject. We are only going to be creating one material, but we're also going to cover a little bit of uh, some finer detailed techniques to get your model looking nice and to make the atlas come out properly. So this model did not need to be decimated at all. So I'm just going to go straight into manually atlasing after I imported it and translated all of my materials, my shape keys, bones, meshes. So if you haven't done it already, separate by materials. I've found that when you haven't done this and then you begin to manually atlas, the materials, uh, they, they stick together and they pull each other apart and you absolutely cannot manually atlas like that. It doesn't work. Now then, now that we've rejoined our meshes, so we are one singular mesh after we separated by materials, we just joined them right back again. We're going to turn all these into one material. The first step is by using cat tools combined same material, which is going to do a lot of the hard work for us. It's going to take all these duplicates of each other and it's going to merge them together. But as you can see, it didn't merge all of our duplicates together. You can see that looking at the preview, these look a hell of a lot alike. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide the armature because I like to do that. I'm going to right click on the model so we've got it selected. We can look at all our materials. I'm going to press tab. Now then one by one I'm going to select the materials that are the same. Select. And it, if you do have a lot of them it can take a while to click through. You just got to accept that. I've selected all these. I'm going to hit assign. Hit tab again go here to this arrow, clean slots and clean material slots and that matches everything into that one material. Now important step when you press tab again you're gonna hit A to deselect all of those materials so that way they're not merged in with the next ones. We can see that these two are uh, the same so we're gonna select select assign tab clean slots deselect select select assign tab clean slots and with that we've got our materials down to a nice low 10 which is going to make it a lot easier to atlas and we're not going to have duplicates flying around and floating around where we don't want to deal with them so we've merged our materials we can immediately get into uh, manually atlasing the model we're going to open our UV image editor we're going to leave edit mode we're going to have our model right clicked. Preemptively set your bake setting to texture. Create a new texture atlas. Name it whatever you want. And for the sake of this we're just going to do a 2K atlas because we don't need much detail because this is a tutorial. We're going to start manually unwrapping. Finish manually unwrapping. Right click our model. Hit tab and go down to keep UV in edit mode, mesh and sync. We're going to go to our uh, our UV maps. We're going to hit this camera button on UV map and leave our texture atlas selected on the blue. And we're going to go to our materials. I'm going to start pulling them apart one by one. And just arranging them into a general square shape. And then I suppose I should talk about this. What you do is you select the material, hit select, and that highlights everything. You can move the material by hitting G. You don't have to hold it, you just hit G, move it and then you left click to place it. You can change the materials rotation by hitting R and just spin it, left click to release it and you can change its size as well by hitting S and then hitting left click to release it. Now a useful trick if you're trying to save space on your uh, UV map you're, you can see that there's all this space between materials. We're just going to unselect that. You can just take things move them in one by one and get them closer. As you can see I'm making a little box to select uh, 
mesh. What I'm doing is I'm hitting B. I don't have to hold anything. I do hold left button though once I do this and then I release and I select within that box. I can deselect everything I have selected again by hitting A. Another selection method will be to use hold control and hold left mouse button and you can use the lasso selection tool. And those are typically all I use to select. You can of course scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. Now then we've moved that. We're gonna select the face, move that over, the body, move that, and you're good right there. And this is going to be an incredibly unoptimized atlas. I'm not going to bother getting the fine details out of everything. All you need to know is, if you want detail, make it larger. If it's something like a flat color or texture, make it smaller. For example, uh, this right here, this skin tone, it's not very highly detailed. You can make that shit tiny. I'll just give an example of how small you can make it, even on 2K Atlas. Like that, that's fine. And remember, all our textures are applying correctly because we went and we set the UV map as what we're basing the render on. Now, one thing that occurs on models in VR chat is they will have a line down their face in mirrors, and other people might see that as well, that line that shows up. Uh, that's one of these annoying problems that come with the fact that MMD models typically have their face textured on one side and it's mirrored to one, mirrored to the other side, and uh, that's how it's handled. But we we don't necessarily want this, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna select the face. I could, of course, if I wanted to, use my box select and select the face, and I'm gonna hit Control I select everything other than the face and hit H to hide it. I'm gonna hit A just to select everything here. Now then, uh, I'm forgetting something. No, I'm not. Sorry, I want to deselect it. I want to deselect it. And we're gonna go to the face here and we're gonna be able to unwrap it. Because as you can see, it doesn't really have any good place that it can pull apart and say, here are the clear lines in the face, because you want the face to have both sides so it doesn't have that line down the middle. What we're going to do is we're going to go, okay, let me move this over. Right here, we're selected on vertex select, so when I right click, you see I'm selecting the little dots. We're going to go to edge select. Now holding shift, we're going to right click on edges up to about here because you can see that the face starts to get a little bit tighter and a little bit more neat right here. We're going to hit spacebar, type in mark, and select UV mark seam. Once we've selected that, we can just hit A, and then we can hit E to unwrap the face. Shrink that down to size don't care about details, and we can just bake that in back like normal. At this point, you have all your textures, you got an unwrapped face. Uh, something that I'd like to mention is, uh, oh, let me unhide all that. Alt-H to unhide everything you have hidden, and that's everything you have hidden. So be aware of that if you've got armature hidden, because I like to hide my armature while I'm working on the model. So right here we've got, I'd like to point this out, if you've got shadows over like your forehead, uh, they're not really showing up though, uh, right here. They might uh, act strange if you've just got it all in one material, like cut out. So just be aware of those and consider deleting those if you're not going to use them. Because if I just pulled this off the model, that's a whole lot more space I've got on my UV map. Now then, at this point, we've got everything... I don't know, sized out the way we want them. Our texture is ready. Save as image. Save it. Now that we've saved our texture atlas, we can go to our materials, delete everything, create a new material, name it whatever you want, create a texture for that material, name it whatever you want, and we're going to open our atlas, hit N, scroll down, hit shadeless. And there we have our model. 
Now you're going to notice that this isn't transparent. It's supposed to be transparent. That's because you got to go to texture. Uh, it was under influence. Turn on alpha. So it goes black. Anything that was transparent goes black. Go back to materials. Go to transparency. Turn it on. And set alpha to zero. And as you can see, that is all now transparent as it should look when you put it in Unity. You can see through the transparency here to the inside of the mesh and this is just how Blender handles things. It will not be fucked up in Unity so you do not have to worry about that. And at this point, I don't know, add your eye tracking, add your visings, nothing to worry about. But I'd like to cover another brief thing. Oh wait, no, no, sorry, I almost covered something, I almost missed something very important. Right, uh, once you've finished your atlas, you're going to go to your UV maps, delete your old UV map, rename your new one to UV map. And I almost missed the important step that Tupper missed on his big ass 30 minute video. Alright, now I'm going to cover the thing that I did want to cover, and that would be, and at this point your model can be exported, at, uh, this would be more unwrapping. So you can see here I've got my, my finished atlas, but the thing is if I hit A, you can see I've got these two dots and they don't seem to have any colors applied to them and I can tell you from experience these two dots do not apply to uh, just a solid black texture that's that one's not a good one to demonstrate with this is the a little like shines on the eye and as it happens those are white not black now, why does it do this? Uh, it's because it's a single color unwrapped texture. Now, unwrapping, I think we covered that. Indeed, we did. Simply select that dot and hit E. And as you can see, oh, I had something else selected when I hit it, unwrap. So now I've only got that selected. Remember, you can control Z to go back. I hit E. And now I've got those on a much more detailed uh, shape. And if I bake that, you can see it now has the correct color. And it's a flat color as well, which means if you really wanted to, and I don't blame you if you do, you can shrink that way down and lose no detail. Now I've got a couple other things to unwrap here. Let me actually, there we go, unwrap. That's just a line, I don't need to worry too much about that. And then the whites of the eyes, as you can see, uh, if I use this texture atlas as it was, uh, it's not fully mapped because it's a piece of shit. Select that, unwrap it, and it's just a solid white, so I can just leave it as is. Everything's ready. I can bake it. I can save it. I don't have this avatar saved anything because I just wanted to demonstrate unwrapping single vertexes, vertices on single color maps. And that should about cover it for the video. Please optimize.